me. It's me, Alex. Mm. Vlogging. Vlogging with my dog. Vlogging with my dog. Who doesn't give a shit? Give a shit, son. Um, hello, everybody. Hope everyone's okay. I'm uh, doing all right. I've finished work on a Monday. Finished with school, and now I'm going to have a, a nice evening of doing very little. And then tomorrow I'm going to go and see the personal trainer, and I'm going to have a little wander, and then I'm going to go to work, and then we're going to do all that sort of stuff. And then on Wednesday I've got more work to do, and then Thursday I've got another work to do, and then I I'm hoping come seven o'clock I'll be getting in a in a car and coming up 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 the north, as it were, up the north. So I'm looking forward to that. To everyone who is um, up the north right now I'm coming to see you at the end of the week um, that's not really what I wanted to talk about what I really wanted to talk about was um, One Stop which is the place that I work at the weekend Friday and Saturday uh, it's uh, basically a shop owned by a th it's either Tesco or Co-op I can't remember which one it is Tesco and or Co-op are a fairly decent sized supermarket in the UK if you're from out of town and you don't know what I'm talking about um, and they have subsidiaries as it were and one of them is a shop chain called One Stop and I work now as my third job for them and the job itself isn't too difficult mentally it's not difficult one little bit there are aspects of it that become a little bit more difficult with um, mathematics involved when you have to count the chains and stuff from the tills. Um, and there are a variety of other things making sure that you're not um, under when you're totting up your till and all that sort of stuff. But forget all that for now. Let's just talk about the fact that for eight hours, you know, 6 a.m. till 2 p.m. and then 2 p.m. till 10 p.m. over the course of two days that is you're basically stood up and you're wandering a little bit and doing bending over and picking things up and and doing all kinds of stuff packing bags and all this sort of stuff and physically it's difficult and I found it very difficult um, because my back is absolutely dead you might as well write the back off try and buy a new one that's how bad it is um, because I get two different types of pain in my back. When I do exercise, I, I go for walks and stuff, I get pain in the trapezius, which is the muscle that goes from the back of your neck in like a diamond shape along your shoulders here up to about, about here-ish on each side, and then it goes down a little bit. So it's like a, dime, like a diamond on its side, basically. That's what the shape of the trapezius is, which is the muscle. And it prickles. It like prickles. Ooh. Ooh, like like you're on fire, sort of thing, like it's burning. Um, and that happens when I exercise. And then I start to get a really deep kind of pain in the old back. Once I really have been stood up for four or five hours, my back starts to go really kind of, you know, I really don't want to be stood up anymore sort of thing, you know, strain. And it's, it's basically, sorry, I had my face really close. It's basically the shoulder blade on my right side, and that is just pretty much down to the fact that my back is pretty shit, really, in general. It's had too much weight. And obviously I'm doing something about that, but it's not fixed my back. So I'm now in the process of, of, of putting the list for some back treatment, i.e. Um, I think it's physio and acupuncture. That is the, f that is the phrase, physio and acupuncture. I've had physio and I've had acupuncture before, but I've never had them at the same time, so I'm quite interested to see how it goes. I'm very much looking forward to it, because hopefully it might give me another hour or two on my feet without dying, as it were. So, see, that's one stop. One stop is, is very simple. The people there who work there um, are all kind of my age. They're all kind of struggling to find pro like full-on, full-time work. Some of them like what they do, and they do that for, for the money, which isn't very good. Um, and some of them do it as a part-time thing because they want to go to school or they want to go... Uh, they're trying to get other jobs and, and various bits and pieces. So I don't think there are many people there that do it for a career. Not to say that that isn't a lucrative side of things if they wanted to, because I'm sure the people who do do the um, the mornings, you know, 
six till two or whatever it is every every Monday to Monday to Thursday or Monday to Friday, you know they're working eight hours a day. They're earning they're earning, earning books. They're earning monies. So, I mean, I don't put it past people if they wanted to make a career out of it. That's what they want to do. That's up to them. For me, I'm looking obviously for a full time job or close to a full time as I can get. I've just found a a place, not a place, a job um, advert in the local area, a place called Billingshurst, which is just down the road. The problem with Billingshurst is, is because it's in West Sussex. Now, I live in Surrey, right on the border between Surrey and West Sussex, and I'm in Surrey, which means that the bus that goes from where I live to Billingshurst isn't actually a direct route. There is There's two routes. So one that goes to Horsham, which is about ten miles away, and one which is in West Sussex, and one that goes from Billingshurst to um I think it either goes to Horsham or it goes um it basically crosses the route. So I have to get I'd if I wanted this job in Billingshurst, I'd have to get a bus at like something like twenty past seven in the morning. This is to be there for nine AM. Get off um, in the middle of nowhere and wait then for 20, 22 minutes to get another bus um, to get to the school. Now, that's my fault because I haven't learned to drive yet. And so I'm not asking for sympathy, but that might be the route that I have to take. Or I just, you know, move and go live down there, which I, I mean, I'm not ad- I'm not you know against moving or anything like that myself it's just i need to make sure that i've got enough money to pay the rent and if 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 i went down there on a on a limb and did it now i wouldn't be able to afford it there'd be no way i'd be able, i'd maybe able to do one month maybe two but other than that you know it'd be pretty shit and i'm not looking for anything super either i'm i'd be looking for like a one bedroom flat or a, or a little a very small kind of little one bed house not even that you know you know three or four rooms that's all i'd be after sort of thing that's all i really use but you know that is getting way ahead of myself i have only just applied for it i won't hear anything until after my birthday next next friday um so that that was a little cheeky wasn't it just reminding everybody that it's my birthday next Friday. I'm quite looking forward to having a thirtieth birthday. Um, it's probably it's the, my first birthday um, since. What are you doing? You little sausage, aren't you? Um, it's my first birthday since having the surgery, so I'm very much looking forward to it. There's no cake, so anyone who's coming to my little soirée. Uh, there is no cake, so get over it, because I won't eat cake. Therefore, I don't expect anybody else to eat cake at my birthday. Um, now I have done this a couple of a couple of times in the past, and I've every time I've said, "Oh, I'm not going to do it." Um, but if you have any charitable natures, folks, I'm going to put my um. I'm going to put my Amazon wish list in the description of this video. Um, so if you do want to get me a present, one appropriate for any amount of money, there's clothes on there. There's a couple of nice things that I'd love but don't need. There are a couple of things that I need that don't particularly love but I need to have them. Um, you know, whatever. And other or just wishes, comments. Just saying, happy birthday. Cause I'll do another one of these videos later on, but for now, this is kind of an. Well, it wasn't even. I wasn't even going to bring any of this up, but it just kind of slipped out, didn't it? It did, didn't it, Chester? Yeah, it did. Okay. You slut. Um, that's it. I don't think there's much else. I mean, I'm not. I'm. I'm very. The 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 job at the wheeled which is the name of the school, I've given that away now, so you can probably look it up on the internet and actually have a look. It's It's got a sixth form attached to it, so it's actually a fairly big school. The job itself is a full-time job, 37 hours a week, um, and it's full, full-time, not term time, which means that you know it will be like a normal job in the end, except they'll be working at a school. Um, yeah, I mean, the job... 
entails exactly the same as what I do for the school. So it makes sense that I, you know, I, I, I do it. You know, I apply for it. What I have nothing to lose from applying for it. So I'll apply for it and hope that I'll hear something. What is this here? Sorry, a little something on, on, on Chester's belly that I'm a little not concerned about, but, you know. It's a little odd. Very odd, that, Chester. Very odd. Yeah, let's zoom in on your face. Can, can we zoom in? Oh, you can't zoom in on this mode because it's shit. Yeah. You're right there. You're right there. You're right there. It's, it's one of those things where you, you, you film a dog and then you mess around with him and he bites you and Chester's never bit me, ever. Have your chest, because you're a lovely, lovely doggy. Yeah, talking about you, talking about you. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> he looks evil like that, doesn't he? Evil. 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 He. Yeah. All right, well, that's it. Thanks very much, everybody, for watching. Um, As I said before, Amazon wishlist is in the description. Or if this is put on Facebook, I'll... I might put it in the comments, I might not, I don't know, I don't want to be cheeky, it is a really cheeky thing to do, because it's basically like saying, here is what I want for my birthday, please buy me all this shit, hmm. anyway, that's it, thanks very much everybody, if you've got any questions and stuff, put them in the comments, or the, you know, whatever, and I'll answer them next time, or I'll answer them in text form, um, and I'll be seeing you soon. I've got more videos coming up with a variety of different games and such, um, hopefully. So, yeah, check out those, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Say bye, Chester. Oh, no, he's turned his back on me now.